Hello everyone, I'm Elijah Gray from Gasbusters for the Win, and I'm glad to see you this 3rd of October, if I'm uploading it daily. I should be. I should be doing that. If it's not 3rd of October, sorry, maybe it's the 4th or the 5th. Anyway, let's get on to the Hilltop Mausoleum. That Mausoleum? I don't know how to say it. I think I said it right the first time. We're in a creepy church. Uh, grave place. I don't know. So anyway, we got a new enemy coming up. He should pop out soon. There it is, the pig. So, whatever weapon you're using, he'll actually take it away from you. So, it's a good idea to keep your small sword out, because you don't want him to take the crossbow. I don't think he can. But he will take the club. Uh, definitely. Um, if you hop down some of their holes, I believe you get some stuff. I'm waiting for the other pig to pop out. There we go. Okay. So yeah, this game is just full of secrets. Alright, so if we walk up here, you notice we can't really do- Oh, almost spilt my drink all over the recording keyboard. Very bad idea, everyone. By the way, it's like, 6 in the morning. I feel so alive. Oh yeah, clubs, they don't stack, so if I get a new one, it's 100%. I'm not really ranting about it, but still, it's- eh. I believe you get multiple clubs in this level because uh, the pigs can steal them. And they are uh, a need. So what you want to do is break some of these. And, nope, no loot in that one. Just got to keep breaking these. Alright. Nothing there. Uh, pretty soon we'll get a weapon. Oh, we got an energy vial. So we can't go up ahead because the gate's blocked. So obviously you go down here. And is this the part where I have to run? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to equip this. Break the glass! Yeah! Gotta love that glass effect. Good old PlayStation. Now, little known fact, I didn't know this about Medieval. This is a, a European PlayStation game. And it got into the US, so I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. So I believe you go over here first. And we want to run like crazy. Um... Pretty soon the floor will cave in, but if we do die, we still have more life bottles. So if you fall in water or off a cliff, that costs a whole life bottle, but we have a lot of chances now. Anyway, I want to kill as many of these pig- Oh, no, 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 I need that, I need that! Ah! Okay, I'm screwed. I did get their souls, though, which is good. So yeah, good tip, don't take the- don't take the life. Or, don't take the thing. So yeah, you can't get back there now. And this pig's just, like- having fun of his life. Alright. So if you go straight, that's the way out, and that's the way to complete the level, but like I said before, we're doing it the secret way. Well, we want to get all the secrets. Did I get that? Oh, I didn't. Crap. Oh, wait, maybe that is the one up ahead. Uh, I hope I don't have to retry. And yeah, those spikes do a lot of damage. So if we go up here, I believe that way was the way out, and this is the secret. Did I get this one? Yes! Okay. So I can actually go and walk down again. Oh, see? You got my small sword. So what I want to do is get the club. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up! Okay, good. So they can actually run away in their little holes and take your sword, and you'll never get it back. Uh, I think the only way to get the small sword back is go back to Dan's Crypt. But I'm not sure, because I never had the sword stolen. Anyway, we got a Chaos Rune. It's like the Chaos Emeralds. Oh, my shield's gone. Oh, wait, I just got re-equipped it. There we go. So if we go up here... More little pig- Ah, damn it! Come on. It's not cool, little piggy. Give me back my sword. I don't want to go out there, I just want the sword, thank you. Alright, so... Out here is where the boss is, but we still have to activate him. Oh, I can fill up my bottle. So yeah, this would be a good situation to use up your life. You can tell when this fountain thing gets used up. They don't stay there forever, either. You'll just notice, uh, it just kind of fades a bit. Alright, so that's the rune I'm looking for. So, what you want to do, that gate's now open. But if we go in here, we get this rune, and little vials. I should actually save those. So, if you read this... The would-be Phantom of the Opera longs to play a new tune. But he seems doomed to repeat the same chords of despair over and over. So, at first this guy used to creep me out. Like, look at those freaking spider arms. Like, who has elbows that are backwards like that? Anyway. 
Uh, what we want to do is head back through here. Don't mind the creepy face on the ground. So I don't... Oh, wait, no. Wrong way. So what we want to do is get out of this room. And, yeah, it's a good thing I made this... Uh, I didn't do this in the last episode. Alright, so we want to hop down this hole again. But this time, we want to go this way. Because we got the spell stone. Wait. No, I Star Fox. God damn it. We got the rune. So, now that we put the rune here... By the way, this is the hardest one to escape. I gotta get hit by this no matter what. If you can dodge that, grats. I can't. <laughs> Alright, so we can get the chalice. I don't want to grab that just yet. I just want to see... Okay. There's the music sheet we need. So once you grab that, run like hell! Because I kind of want to keep my life... Okay, run, 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 run! Also, a lot of the secret ways are kind of hard to do, so... But, highly recommended, like I said before. So now, if we head through here... We can go down... And... There we go! So what you want to do in here is push... Wait, did I get the Chalice of Souls? Oh wait, no I didn't. Right, 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 right. I thought it was somewhere else. I'm just like, I gotta get the souls! Okay, so right here, did we get the new one? No, just more daggers. That's if you didn't get, uh... Wait. Do I want to do this now? E no, I don't. Okay. So, you don't want to activate this just yet, because it'll activate the boss. And once you activated the boss... Do I even have my shield again? No, I don't. Once you activate the boss, uh, once you defeat him, you can't uh, go back and get the other secrets. So, I nearly screwed up there. Luckily, I didn't. I think... Oh, there goes the life. This is the only case where this happens. So, what we want to do is go in here. And now that we have that music sheet, if we go in our inventory, give him the music sheet. He was just missing one chord. And then he's oh so happy. And then we get all the gold and the chalice. Alright, so I don't think we used our uh, crossbow yet, which we're going to have to pretty soon. Can I? Yes, I can buy bolts. Awesome. Like I said, the daggers are pretty pointless because you can easily get um, a crossbow. So I just went the... Wait, no, this is the right way. This is the right way. Alright, so I want to have my sword. Just in case there's any little piggies down here. I'm just going to hold up my shield because I think I can dodge these without getting hurt. And what is this? Oh, just a copper shield, which I already had. And what's in here? Nothing. Alright, cool. Alright, let's put her in. This game is so gothic, I love it. Oh no, it's the Chaos Emeralds from Sonic Adventure DX! It's Tikal! Alright, so just hold your shield out, bounce off these little spikes. And now, what you want to do... I should have saved the life up here. Um, so yeah, maybe you should leave it unless you're really low. Switch to your crossbow, if not use your uh, throwing daggers, and let's get ready for a boss battle. I personally love how this boss looks. All the other bosses don't really comprehend to this guy. Any day now. The demon's heart is his only vulnerable point. Alright, so what you want to do is you can't attack him right now, so just hold your shield out just in case you run into him. And just keep running in circles. There, that's your opening when he has his heart out. If you just stand in front of him, you'll automatically auto-aim on him, and then run like hell! Because we don't want glass on our bones. There we go! And that's how you beat this boss. Not too hard, not too difficult, but he does look very menacing. Just a lot of jumping and stuff. Alright, so I believe... Yeah, I gotta physically look at him to make it hit. And run like hell. Oh, he froze me. Ah! All you have to do is just keep hitting with the crossbow and you'll get it. Um, it, for whatever reason, if you run out of crossbow bolts and daggers, which I don't think is possible for this battle, but if you do... God bless your soul. I have no idea how you can hit this guy with your sword. Alright, run. 
Alright, see, I had my shield out so he didn't do a, uh, his big attack on me. You're doing pretty well, and I feel sick as a dog. Let's do this! Let's go, demon. Alright, use your heart thing. Just spam an X button. And run like hell. Ah, okay, okay. And my shield is almost broken. Yeah, the copper shield's not that great. Luckily, they're everywhere across this game. Uh, pretty soon, we'll be finding the silver shields everywhere, which are a lot better. But what we want to aim to get is a golden shield. Okay. And he's dead. No, he's doing a disco fever dance. And he fell apart. And we have acquired an item that you do not know. The Skull Key. And our level is complete. So it's highly recommended you get the secret like I did. Just use my video as a guide. Anywho, time for the Hall of Heroes. Insert that song that does da 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 Okay. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. He's basically telling you all the good shits upstairs. Anyway, I believe we can talk to the new guy now. No, it's not the sword guy. It should be him. Yes, okay. There we go. Ah, Fortescue! What's this I hear about that Archcad Zarog still being alive? Thought you killed the fella! <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my war hammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. <laughs> All right, so this is the weapon. Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. Knock a few heads for old Stanier Iron Hewer, eh? I'm not sure if you say no to that, he'll actually say that. I don't know. Anyway, so clubs are pointless now, because we got the hammer. If you charge it up and let go, you can stun everyone around you. You can break rocks now, so... All clubs are useless, you find, and you can break rocks without worrying about it breaking. By the way, this guy, he's going to keep saying the same thing over and over till we get upstairs. So, I am Elijah Gray from Gasbusters for the Win, and I hope you have a spooky October. <laughs>